Hello guys, I've got a little bit of a different building episode for you today because uh, obviously normally I like to build on like public servers like the XPD server so you guys can actually come and check stuff out but today I am actually in the snapshot 14w04a because of a new block that I want to experiment with which is this one. This is diorite. Now diorite, oh, I'm sorry if you just heard my computer make a noise then. <laughs> diorite um, is one of the kind of the new stone blocks that we have and the reason that I'm like super excited about it is because it is kind of what I've been waiting for. Like um, I said on my Twitter that I was going to show you guys how to do a Tudor style build. So we're going to use the diorite. We're going to use some spruce wood. Now the reason we're using diorite is because diorite is the only thing that I've found so far in survival Minecraft that really looks like the kind of plaster that they would have had on these kind of medieval kind of Tudor buildings and this is the kind of color scheme that they used to go for so this kind of it would be white originally obviously but over time it gets kind of dirty and I think that kind of makes it look a bit more realistic and then you'd have a really dark wood probably painted black actually but I think it looks better to have like the natural texture of the wood there rather than using like black wool I mean we can have a look and see what it looks like but I think that uh, potentially you could use that but I think it's a little bit too this has got kind of like a more ready color to it and I think that's just a little bit too too black but this is what we're gonna go for today guys now the building you're gonna go um, put two pillars there and go one two three so there's a three block gap and there it's gonna be quite a small building is this one small but long so we're gonna go from here one two three place another two there one two three place another two there and should we do another one? I think that's probably enough actually, we'll go for that. It's gonna be really small this, but you'll see as we go upwards, it's gonna get bigger because that's the kind of the way that houses are now. I'm actually gonna make these go up three and you'll see why that is in a second. So that is the initial build. Now between all of these, we're actually also gonna stick some blocks like that. You're gonna have these going up two and then between these, we're gonna have a sideways facing um, piece of wood so that you get the effect of like a border going all the way around so we'll do that really quickly on all the other sides don't worry too much about windows or anything like that just now because we can literally just like punch those in later so if you're building this in creative like that's pretty easy to do but I suppose if you're doing this in survival you can always kind of plan like where you want windows to be but one of the main features of Tudor houses this is pretty funny actually like back in Tudor times um, it's kind of King Henry VIII who was king he was a bit of um shall we say a megalomaniac <laughs> and he decided because he was on the throne um had been appointed by god that meant that he owned everything in the kingdom including sunlight so people tended not to have like windows on their houses because he could tax you for that so like depending on how many windows you had like he would tax you so a lot of people just brick them up they didn't actually have windows and just had torches instead so it would be perfectly realistic for you to have a building like this with just a doorway and no windows <laughs> now to do the second level what we're going to do is we're going to go out so there's a block if you have a look on here on the diagonal going upwards and we're going to do that on every corner so you don't have to do it like this but i'm just going to show you guys so we've got a diagonal facing upwards block just delete the ones underneath there ta-da so you've got that so it kind of looks weird and kind of floaty at the moment but if we go around and place sideways all of these going all the way around this is going to give us the second part of our building now you see it doesn't matter that the bottom is quite small because as we go up it gets bigger and gives you a little bit more floor space and you can actually surprisingly fit quite a lot in this house we're not going to worry about things like fireplaces and stuff because probably in the future i will show you guys how to do that so we're going to do exactly the same again guys we're going to go up two now you can if you want to go up three again like we did before and all that does is it means that you can add an extra trim on the roof um, I'll explain more about that in a minute but basically just go up two and the same as you did before just put like that I mean actually we'll probably we'll leave that bit open because we can put like a window there but if we go around this side we're just going to go up two all the way around so you get this kind of stripey pattern basically that's what they liked we like the old stripey pattern oopsie yeah and this is why I love the diorite. If you look at it, guys, it really, like, it really is starting to look how I imagine, like, the Tudor buildings look. I mean, I know how they look because I've seen them, but that is, like, such a good texture to have next to the wood. And, I mean, if we compare it to 
let's have a look at this doesn't work the polished diorite doesn't work as well because if you look at it it's got that kind of join between it it kind of looks a little bit too like it's actually stone um if you can use i mean snow i've tried everything i've tried everything white wool um and block of quartz but i mean if i show you like it's kind of you could use that if you were going to do like a newish house but it's it kind of too bright for me and the wool the wool kind of works as well, but like overall it looks a little bit tacky. And then that is just too, like too new looking, I think for me. So I really, I think the diorite, oopsie, not that diorite, this diorite <laughs> looks the best. So if we don't do that round the other side, I have all of these. It's all about texture. It's all about finding textures and colors that kind of go together to create the look that you want. The actual building itself, like you can use a lot of different styles, but like I really, I particularly like this one. Now, um, we're not gonna worry about these two ends because these two ends I'm actually gonna make into windows. And what we'll do next is the roof. Now I like to have for this particular build, I've been experimenting with more kind of like arched roofways. So you're gonna go up one and then this one, we're actually gonna go two. And then on the top, we're gonna go two as well. So you've got, don't start raining, no. I think it's all one word. Yep, there we go. <laughs> no rain. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound a little bit nasally today, guys. I'm not not very well at the moment, but you know, we deal, we deal. So same again, guys. It's going to go up one, and then we're going to go two, and then on the very top, we're going to go up two, and then just delete all of these underneath. Now, if we just go back, you can see how that looks. Yeah, so yours should should look like that. So you've got one, two, and then two at the top. Now, to do the roof, we are going to use another new block a new block from the last update which of course is the dark oak wood and we're going to need the dark oak wood block as well and we're also going to use let's get rid of these we don't need these go away be gone yep we're also going to use some stone stairs stone bricks and do we need anything else yes we do we need a half slab a stone half slab there we go and that's going to be the edging so the way you're going to do it is it's going to be stairs a st um sorry a stairs a full block a stairs a full block and a stairs that is what it's going to be like going all the way across there i'll do it the same on the other side so you're going to have a stair a full block a stair not like that <laughs> a full block and a stair so i'm really quickly going to do that guys and uh, you can listen to some lovely music Right, guys it should look like that when you're finished as you can see we did it all the way along and also what I did you'll probably notice is I filled in all of this with a full block because what we're actually going to do at the top here is now use this as a decoration or kind of just to kind of break up the sameness of like all the wood uh, by having this go on all the sides so we're going to have same again just with stone brick you've got your stairs your full block your stairs your full block and then your stairs and if we go around the other side of this where it kind of looks you see there's like a really thin gap just there and just there as well we're going to put an upside down stair inside there just to kind of finish it off nicely Oop, didn't mean to go down <laughs> all right and then up here upside down stair and we'll finish off that top bit in a second we're just going to go one two can i do it yep three in there in there and then stick this bad boy in here. Ooh, we might have to change it today in a second, but yeah, there you go, guys. And uh, as a feature at the top, I always just like to stick a full block there to kind of give it like a little, I don't know, like a flick at the top there. So I think that looks pretty nice. Now, the reason I said earlier, you can go up another block on here is if you wanted to have, say, like a trim going all the way around, you would have to go up another block because it kind of balances it out more to have these two here whereas if you hide them it it just kind of doesn't look to me anyway it doesn't look very balanced but I mean you can experiment with what you want guys it's always a good idea to like have a go and try and get your own style out of things you know just just have a go at it see what it looks like you might decide you hate it you might decide you love it you know it's up to you really so we'll just do this on this side upside down before it gets to night quickly now quickly now no the night is coming no <laughs> can't even place blocks today <laughs> uh, my voice sounds so lovely 
go. We must hurry. We must hurry. There we are. Okay. Let's see if I can... Yeah, time set day. Woo! <laughs> it's light again. And then obviously at the top here, let's we'll stick our full block. And there we have it. Now, to do the ends, I think on one end we're going to have a nice big bay window. And this could even be like for the front of the house, maybe. Yeah, for the front of the house, you know, looking out onto the street, we're going to do like a nice bay window. And how we're going to do this is I'm going to finish up inside these walls with the diorite and then we're gonna have it coming out one there and then one at the front there. Is that how I did it before? Maybe I did it like this. Mm, probably that's too far actually. Let's just have it there and I'm gonna change that to going that way and in fact change those to going that way. Yeah that should be about right and then if we get and I really like to use the stained glass for this and I think white stained glass in particular look, makes it look kind of like the windows are a little bit kind of f frosted I guess is the, the word I'm looking for. Is that right? Yes. Yeah there we go. It gives you that effect of the windows kind of coming out. It's sometimes difficult to place these like, like that for example <laughs> to get them just right. Yeah, there we go. And then at the top there, what you can do is I like to put, um, we're actually gonna stick some, we're gonna need some spruce, because I like to use spruce on the inside because it isn't as dark. Spruce across there, and we're gonna mirror exactly what happened below here. So these are gonna come out this way and this way, give it that, so it's like nice. There we go. Now I think, I'm trying to remember how I did this, I think it might be better actually if you do that because I don't like there being that gap there. Yeah, let's have a look at that. That looks pretty nice. Um, I like it look pretty nice. Yeah, we'll have that. So that's a good way you can do a bay window. Now, if we go to the other side, you could always just decide, if you were going to have like a fireplace here, you'd probably want to cover this end up. So what I might do actually is rather than having a big window, let's just, let's just fill it in. Fill that whole thing in. We're going to stick a, a cross beam going across there to kind of break that up a little bit. I'm leaving the top ones done deliberately because this house is so tall you can actually have three levels inside it and I'll really quickly show you how to do that guys. If we go inside our little house you can see there's actually a lot of space in here because it goes up so high and you can actually have a level just here. I like to fill in this as well just to kind of so there's not any kind of empty random bits of space. We'll just do a little floor inside here. And um, to get up from the bottom level, now you can, I like to do a staircase kind of going up at one of these ends or like along the side here. If we grab some, boop -ba -doop, um, we want some stairs. Let's have some half slabs as well, we don't need them anymore. Yep, so we've got some stairs. So we want to come up here. So you've got your staircase going up here and then to cover up all this, I like to have this level kind of half slabbed. And you can kind of mess around with this as well, guys. And um, what's quite fun to do as well is to experiment with levels. You can even have, like, even on the same level, you could even have a section where it, like, goes up again. Like, say, for example, I'll show you what I mean if we come across here. So say you come up the stairs here, and this is all one, oopsie, yeah, this is all one level here. And then you could decide that this here actually goes up again. So it's actually full blocks instead of half blocks to kind of create these different spaces within the house. There's a lot of tricks you can use to do stuff like this. Um, this was quite fun to experiment and then obviously on this level you could now stick a bed here because that's like a proper level you know it, it just kind of gives it that effect of like giving you like different areas that you can use for different purposes. Now to get up to this level I like to use um, a what do we call it uh, let me see we want a banister of some kind so you're coming up here yep You've got your, your banister going up and then this is going to go all the way up to the next level because what you can do is on one of these sides stick a ladder on it and that ladder will take you right up to this level here so we'll leave a gap just there and you could put a trapdoor on it if you want but I sometimes like to leave them out because I find that trapdoors kind of get in the way a little bit but you there have got no fuss, no muss, uh, three levels on the house. And you can even create these things up here into like little balconies, which is quite nice. So if you just, cause this one here goes out, you can have your little balcony and you can even stick a trap door, um, not a trap door, sorry, a pressure plate there so you can open and close the door. And then this one over here can just be a window looking out onto your, um, your sheep. <laughs> so that would be a ladder there. 
you've got this kind of separated levels here so this could be a different part of the uh, of the room come down here and you've got your entrance way and you can obviously turn all of this into you could even use some of the new bricks for this actually let's use some andesite yep we have a bit of andesite on the uh, on the ground here it looks like a nice stone floor very nice very nice could have a little storage area back there there's a lot you can do with it guys I and mean, if people want me to go over kind of like how you would decorate the inside of a house we can do that in another episode but that is pretty much it so we'll have one quick last look at it so yeah there you go basic Tudor kind of house you can add things to it you can make it bigger you can scale it up you could even try and make a smaller version with just one level if you wanted to but yeah what you can do guys is if you do have a go at this um, you can contact me on twitter at at kaffers 8-bit and uh, send me your pictures like show me what you've been up to and uh, always ask me things as well it's a good way to communicate with me actually is to follow me on twitter because you can kind of like ask me questions and say i'd like to see how you build this and stuff so i'm always checking that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this guys and um, i will catch you next time